Let's start a new part by drawing a rectangle. So I'm going to draw a rectangle. And what I want to do here is actually set up a little bit of information here. So what I want is I want this to be the width of my part. So I'm going to go width equals, and I'm going to say it's going to be two inches, hit enter, and we can see it's gone through. And if I double click on this, it's actually assigned that as width. Let's take this one. Let's actually make this uh, one inch, and I'm going to click finish here. And what I'm going to do is click extrude, and I'm going to extrude this two inches. I'm going to click OK. Well, I'd like to go back because I didn't really rename all those, and maybe I'd like to see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my parameters. So I've got a button up here for it. I can also go to the Manage tab here for this component and go to my parameters. And what this is is a listing of every single parameter that was generated by the modeling operations. These three, right, the first two are actually sketch ones that I added. So here's, let's say, the depth. So I've added depth here. This one's actually going to be the length of the part. So there's the length. This one just happened automatically. It's actually the taper angle on that extrusion. So if I was to come in here and change this to 15 degrees, hit enter, knows how that's updating. And it's updating because of the immediate update option. So let's actually change that back to zero, and we can see it's going to go back. Now what I'd like to do is I'd actually like to take the length here, actually the width. I'd actually like the depth here to be in relation to the width. So I'm going to just come in here, and I'm going to say width. Well, wait a minute. Why is it not working? Well, the reason it's not working is that Inventor is case sensitive. So it actually recognizes the difference between lowercase width and uppercase width. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to width. So now it recognizes it. I'm going to say divide by two. And I can see now that my depth will always be in relation to my width. So as my width changes, if I make this three, we can see that the, the depth now is 1.5. Now these are kind of key columns here. So I'm actually going to make these key columns. And that way what I can do is I can actually filter out just to show me the key columns. I don't see anything else that may or may not have been, been created in this case. So I can use the little drop down here to filter that. What I also might want to do is I actually might want to change the unit on some of these. So I could come in here and actually change the unit um, and actually say this is going to be millimeters instead of inches. Now I'm going to add some radiuses in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to add a parameter first. So I'm going to add a new parameter and I'm going to set this parameter to radius. Well, let's say um, outside radius. And I just put an underscore because spaces aren't accepted. And I'm going to change this beforehand. I'm actually going to change this to millimeters. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say an equation here. I'm going to say 15 millimeters. So I've now gone through and set that to 15 millimeters. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to right click on this. And I'm actually going to make this a multi value. So what I'm going to do is come in here and say multi value because I want a 10 millimeter option. I'd like to have a 5 millimeter option. I'd like to have a um, 0.25 inch option. So I've gone through and I've added those various sizes here. And I'm not going to allow custom sizes. So I've gone through and made my various sizes. So I'll click OK. And I've now made this a multi-valued parameter. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is this looks good. I'm going to click Done here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a fillet. So I'm going to add a fillet here and here and here and here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to link the radius here, and I'm going to list two parameters, and I'm going to list the, link this to the outside radius. So now this is set to the outside radius, and I'm going to click OK, and we can see that that's gone through and applied that default radius to there. So let's go back into our parameters, and within our parameters, what I'm going to do is go to the drop down because this really was supposed to be 10 millimeters. You notice how it's changed. I really wanted the length to be 24 inches. I'll hit enter and we can see that the part has updated. I really wanted the width here to be four inches. That in turn is gonna update the width and the depth. Now, because I've got all these parameters going on, it might be a good idea to actually add some comments, right? So this is the width of the part. And maybe I'll say here is, this is the depth. It is a function of the width, right? So I can go through some comments because you know what? The, the variable names make sense to me, but are they going to make sense to somebody else? Or they make sense to me today, but are they going to make sense to me in six months or two years or five years the next time I come and look at this particular component? Now, here's my model parameters. These ones kind of update as I add new features. I can add additional user parameters, and I can actually add um, true, false, and text type values. 
Those ones come into play more when you're doing programming. So whether you're using iLogic or Visual Basic or whatever you're using, those parameters would come to play into there. So it's usually the numeric ones if you're not doing any type of, of um, programming or development on top of that. So again, remember the model dimensions will update automatically. So if I come into my, mar my part here and I add a chamfer around this edge here, and I click OK, notice that when I go back into my parameters, notice we now have this value here for this chamfer size. Remember I created a filter, so I can actually filter this out just to see the key columns.